He goes by T Rev, so we'll call him that as well. And he joins us now. what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome you are back here today with the rev gang family and t rev and i want to break this news to you guys a lot of you may have heard of it there was a quadruple homicide in romeoville illinois and it's a very sad situation before we get into it and talk about it i want you to hear this now we are following up breaking news from romeoville where two children and two adults were found dead inside of a home police just spoke about that case in the last hour cbs 2's darius johnson is live for us at the police department with an update on the investigation. Darius. Good morning, Marie. I can tell you these are gut wrenching details that we're just getting in from the Romeoville Police Department. I can tell you that we now know that two adults and two children are dead. Those two adults have been identified as Roberto Rallone and Zoraida Bartholomew. Their ages have not yet been released, along with the genders, names, or ages of the two children who were also found dead inside that home. In addition to those four, police also say three dogs were shot to death. All of this, police believe, took place inside that home on Concord Drive. Go or Concord Avenue. Take a look at some of that video that we've been able to gather. Romeoville police first arrived at that home around 845 Sunday night for a well-being check. The well-being check was after one of the adults did not show up for work on Sunday morning and later a family member tried to get in contact with the family and got nothing. When police arrived they found all four dead inside with gunshot wounds. Hours after police hours after being at the scene, police say they were able to learn that someone came in and killed these four people inside their home. Preliminary investigation leads police to believe this happened between 9 p.m. on Saturday and 5 a.m. on Sunday morning. While at the home on Concord Avenue, we witnessed crime scene technicians going in and out of the home taking photos. There were also several brown and pink bags removed from the home, along with other random items like what appeared to be a TV or a computer screen and also a screen of a window. Sadly, we also saw those three dogs being removed from the home in body bags. Back out here live right now, Romeoville police tell me that there is no ongoing threat due to the amount of time that has passed since they believe all of this happened sometime between Saturday night and Sunday morning, but they have yet to locate a shooter. They also wouldn't provide any details if it appeared to be a break-in or if these victims were possibly shot while sleeping. However, they are still asking people right here in the community to reach out to Romeoville police if they have any additional information. You know, this is giving me flashbacks to the Idaho for quadruple homicide of Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonsalves, Ethan Chapin, and Xana Kernodal. And the reason why I say that is because they're saying there's no ongoing threat to the community. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, there is an ongoing threat. There is a guy or whoever this was, I can't say guy, guy, female, whoever, you know, committed out these homicides. They are still on the loose. It seems like they were collecting different things from the scene. Now I have taken some notes and we are going to get into those notes. So exclusive couple Alberto Rallone and Zorado Bartolome. I may have said their names wrong, and if I did, I will get them correct. Their two sons, aged nine and seven, three dogs, all found shot dead inside their new home in Romeoville, Illinois. As heartbroken, grandma says they were so happy that they were a happy family. The wife had spoken to her mother and said that they were settling down to watch a movie Saturday night. A couple, their two children and three dogs were found fatally shot Sunday in a, sub a suburban Chicago home. Police are not investigating the incident as a murder suicide they are searching for the killer cbs chicago news reports they were found at about 8 40 p.m in romeoville by officers sent to the home by concerned relatives of the victims to conduct a well-being check romeoville police deputy chief chris byrne told reporters monday the victims were believed to have been shot between saturday night and early sunday morning byrne said so the deaths are being investigated as murders he added the adults identified again as alberto Rallone, zorada bartolome z-o-r-a-i-d-a and b a-r-t-o 
L-O-M-E-I-H. The names and the ages of their children were not immediately released. So it says, a member of the family did not show up to work at 6 a.m. Sunday and did not respond to phone calls throughout the day, Burns said. Family members became concerned. While at the home, crime scene technicians were in and out of the home taking photos and several brown and pink bags were removed from the home, CBS Chicago reported. A computer screen and part of a window was taken from the scene. Police have not released any details on a possible suspect. Neighbors told CBS and multiple other media platforms that the Chicago victims just moved in a couple months ago. They were also a mystery to their neighbors who said they kept to themselves and were only briefly seen outside. And and this is people around there. Carol Love says it's kind of unsettling for the block that they live on. Now, Love lives next door. She was home during the shootings, but she says like many of people on the block, they did not hear a peep. Despite living only a few feet away, none of the neighbors really knew and the officers couldn't, of course, tell us that at the point, but Love said, we hear the gunshots from the shooting range two miles away. We can hear those nonstop, said another neighbor, but not this, no. Neighbor Lynn Phillips, she reports, who did not want her face shown, she lived on the block for nearly two decades. So again, Again, neighbor Lynn Phillips, who did not want her face shown, said she lived on the block for nearly two decades, said she's never seen officers swarm her neighborhood like she saw Sunday night. It's devastating to me, absolutely devastating, that a young family has been murdered. Phillips said Romeoville is about 30 miles southwest of Chicago. And this is a very sad situation, and I will be reporting on this situation. I, I want to say seven lives lost because you have three dogs here. I don't know what happened, what would cause somebody to go in and do what they did. But again, we are now checking out and investigating and looking at different things and avenues and what's going to happen, what's going to be the resolution of the Romeoville homicide. This is, again, two adults, a nine and seven-year-old, and three dogs, all murdered at the scene. Now, this is very heartbreaking but this is flashbacks of the idaho for just a dis different situation and i was i was devastated when i read this article if you guys you know like this video and want to keep up to date make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and most people watching i'm pretty sure is the rev gang family i love you guys this situation is absolutely insane i will keep you updated i don't know maybe we'll be live soon so you never know keep that notification bell rung because you know how we do rev gang family i'm out Every day I wake up, it's another person that's dead and YouTube has to solve it cause the law is filling kids. I'm disgusted at the evil in the end and if you connect the dots, you'll see the vision in your head. Why do people die as victims to the streets? They wonder why I'm up all night and can't sleep. I'll be the voice for everyone who can't speak. L.E. fell Kylie and now Sammy is free.